শামসুর রহমান ওয়াজ আ বাংলাদেশি পয়েট কলামিস্ট এন্ড জার্নালিস্ট আ পলিটিক রাইটার এন্ড রহমান প্রডিউসড মোর দ্যান সিক্সটি বুকস অফ পয়েট্রি কালেকশন এন্ড ইজ কনসিডার্ড আ কি ফিগার ইন বেঙ্গলি লিটারেচার ফ্রম দ্য লেটার হাফ অফ দ্য টোয়েন্টি এথ সেঞ্চুরি এন্ড হি ওয়াজ রিগার্ডেড অ্যাজ দ্য আনঅফিসিয়াল পয়েট লরিয়েট অফ বাংলাদেশ Major themes in his poetry and writings include liberal humanism, human relation, romanticized rebellion of youth, the emergence of and the consequent events in Bangladesh, and the opposition to religious fundamentalism. These were Shamsur Rahman's theme, Shamsur Rahman's writings theme. Shamsur Rahman was born in his grandfather's house, 46, number Mahut Tuli, uh, Ma, uh, Mahut Tuli, Dhaka. His paternal home is situated on the bank of the river Meghna, a village named Pahar Tuli, near Raipura Thana of Narsindh district. He was a third of 13 children. He studied at Provo's High School, very close to Jagannath University, now attached to Jagannath University, from where he passed matriculation in 1949, 1945. Later, he took his IA as a student of Dhaka College Shamsur Rahman started writing poetry at the age of 18. Just after graduating from the Dhaka College, he studied English literature at the Dhaka University for three years, but he didn't take the examination. After a break of three years, he got admitted to a BA pass course and received his BA in 1953. He received his MA in the same subject where he stood second in the second division. In his leisure, after the matriculation, he read the Golpu Guchu of Rabindranath Tagore. He told that his book took him into the extraordinary world and transformed him into an altogether different personality. In 1949, his poems Unisho Onoponchash was published in Shonar Bangla, which was then edited by um, uh, Nali Na, Nali Ni Kishor Guru, Shonar Bangla. That is Unisho Onoponchash. He had a long career as a journalist and served as the editor of the National Daily, Doilik Bangla, and the Weekly Vichitra in the 1980 decades. A shy person by nature, he became an outspoken liberal intellectual in the 1990 decades against religious fundamentalism and a reactionary nationalism in Bangladesh. As a consequence, he became a fundamental, a frequent target of the political conservative as well as the Islamist of the country. This culminated in the January 1999 attack on his life by the militant Harkatul Jihad al-Islami. He survived that attempt. Samsur Rahman's first book of poetry, Pratham Gaan, Dityo Mitsur Ate. First song before the second day was published in 1960. He had to go, go through the political turbulence of the 1960 decades and the 1960-70 decades, who is also reflected in his poems clearly. He wrote his famous poem, Afa the Shark, which was written with respect to the mass uprising of 1969, led by Maulana Mashani during the Bangladesh Liberation of Wire, he wrote a number of poems based on the wire. These poems were so inspiring that they were recited at the camps of freedom fighters, 
Later, these poems were published in Bundi Shibir in 1972. Later, he continued writing poems in the independent Bangladesh and remained as the poet whose poems reflect the history of the nation. During the historical movement against uh, Ershad, he participated and he published his book, Bukhtar, uh, Bukhtar Bangladesh Ridoi, including the great sacrifice of Noor Hoshan. Bukhtar Bangladesh Ridoi, Noor Hoshan at the revolution against the Ershad regime. Poetic diction, as Shamsur Rahman wrote most of his poems in free verse, often with the rhyme style known as power or Akshar uh, uh, Brin. It is popularly known that he followed his pattern for poet Jivanathan Dash, and he also wrote poems in two other major patterns of Bengali rhyme style, namely Mastabitto and Shorobitto. Uh, Career in journalism, he was a uh, Shamsur Rahman started his profession as a co-editor of the English Daily Morning News, 1957. Later, he left this job and went to Dhaka uh, Center of the then Radio Pakistan. He returned to his own rank of Morning News in 1960 and was there till 1964. After the liberation of Bangladesh, he wrote columns in the daily Doinik Bangla. In 1979, he became the editor of his of this daily. He also jointly worked as the editor of Bichitra, a weekly published since 1973. During the period of President Ershad, he got involved with internal turbulence in the Doinik Bangla. A ranks chief editor was created to take away his position as the top executive and rip him of all executive powers. In, 18, in 1987, he left the Delhi as a protest against this injustice. He also worked as the editor of the monthly literary magazine uh, Ad, Adhuna for two years since 1986 and the main editor of the weekly uh, Muldhara in 1989. He worked as one of the editor of uh, Kobe Country, an irregular poetry magazine in 1956. On 18 January 1998, Harkatul Jiyad al-Islam Bangladesh tried to assassinate Shamsur Rahman in his residence at uh, Shamoli, Dhaka. The attacks tried to uh, deep and decapitate him with an axe, and his wife was seriously injured. The attackers were led by Hassan, a student of Dhaka College. He survived the assassination attempt. Charges were filed against seven by the uh, Criminal Investigation Department, Assistant Superintendent of Police Abul Kahar Akan, on 8 July 1999. On 12 February 2004, he accused the accused assassin were acquitted due to a lack of witness by Dhaka's Chief Metropolitan Magistrate Court. Bangladesh Police considered reopening the case in 2016. <coughs> His uh, health broke down towards the end of the 1990 decades, and on two occasions, he received major cardiac surgery. He did on 17 August 2000. He died on 17 August 2006 of heart and kidney failure after having been in a coma of 12 days. He was 70, uh, 76. Critical acclaim. Jilly Rahman Siddiqui, a, a friend and critic, described Shamsur Rahman as one who is deeply rooted in his own tradition. In his opinion, Shamsur Rahman still shows the language of our times, transcending the limits of geography in his range of sympathy, his Catholicity, 
is urgent and immediate relevance of, for us. Shamsur Rahman is second to none. Professor Syed Manjul Islam has similar praise for Rahman. It is true he was he has built on the ground of the thirties uh, thirties poets, but he has developed the ground, explored into areas they thought to dark for exploration, has added new features to it and landscape it, and in the process left his footprint all over. Abjur Asfar Hussain also comments Rahman work as he, Rahman, decisively shaped diction in post Tagorian and the post Jivanarandu Dian Bangla Jivanarandu Dian Bangla poetry. Also, Rahman offers us the kind of poetry that effectively traverse a wide range of middle class experience while making some politically significant inner class connections in the interest of any meeting and inspiring both best struggles against oppression and justice all through his perspectives remained influenced by a progressive and robust version of liberation liberal humanism in the year 1983, a renowned Bangladeshi writer, Humayun Azad, wrote a book called Shamsur Rahman. Nishiddho uh, Sherpa, a lonely climber that offered a sustained critical analysis of Shamsur Rahman's poetry. On 23rd October 2018, Rahman was honored with a Google Doodle uh, posthumously on his 89th birthday. Poetry, poetry, several poetry he has written. These are the collection of poetry. Prothom Gandhi to Mittu Rage, Rudro Korotite, Vidhastolinima. Nira 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 Loke Divorot Nich Bashbumi. So several collection of poems. You see. These are the collection of poems. Short stories, Shamsu Rahman Golpo, novels, one, two, three. Three, four, five. Children's literature, autobiography, Kalil, Guloi Lekha, Sitir Shahor, collected columns, poems in translation, drama in translation, and these are the others. These are the writings written by awards. Adam Ji Award, Bangla Academy Literature Award, Ekushe Padak, Shadhinata Divosh Awards, Mitsubishi Awards of Japan, Anando Purushkar from Ananda Purushkar from India, 1994, TLM South Asian Literature Awards for the Masters 2006. So this is one of his poem. The best known poem arguably is a poem written in 1971 during the liberation war of Bangladesh. Shadhinata Tumi Nirobi Thakure Rajor Kovita Abhinashigan. Shadhinata Tumi Nudrul Jhakla Chulir Babri Durana Mahan Purush Sishti Shukhirul Lashi. Freedom, you are the immortal poems in chunk of Rabindranath. So these are the poems. So this is uh, taken by uh, this source. You can also another form of biography is taken from. Uh, you can read this just for another complete idea about Shamsur Rahman. And also another sort of biography that is. Shamsur Rahman, this is taken from Bangladesh. Uh, 
and the image of Shamsudha Bhagavan and also at the end of and you will see also the Bengali version. It is also collected from Bangladesh. Okay, so you can also read this to have um, idea of प्रमुख व्यक्ति संगे घनी छो बचर बन प्रथम कवित आरम्भ करें आधुनिक साहित्य संकलन रूपाली स्थान के बलासमान आगमन कविता सर्वांगे जड़िए आकता और सृष्टिशीलतार चिन्ह तब कवित प्रथम कब्य प्रकाश कवित स्वल्प समय मध्य त्रिशे दशक कवि मोहजाल मुक्त हुए प्रथम कब्य रुद्धबद्ध विषणतार जगत थे निष्क्रांत हो जाए जार प्रतिफलन घटे परवर्ती कब्य रुद्र पर This is the biography of the unofficial poet laureate of Bangladesh, Shamsul Rahman. So, as you see, that we have discussed the biography of two poets. So, Shamsul Rahman is a Bangladeshi poet and dramatist and journalist, and through his career, he uh, wrote for the uh, like the W. B. Yeats about. Bangladesh um, Liberation War, the uh, uh, revolt against Ashad uh, regime, Ashad autocracy, and especially the poems written by Shamsul Rahman was very much inspirational at the time of the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1979. And his uh, his writings reflect the national identity of Bangladesh based on the Lingu language movements and the liberation of Bangladesh. 